Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to take a little bit of time to talk about modified laser beds. So, uh, this is my original CO2 laser printer. I've had this, this guy for about a year now or so, and this is the one I've modified with garble and all that other kind of stuff. Um, however, if you look back in the playlist, I also modified this bed. So, I took out the original one, and then I inserted this one from uh, using Diamond Screen that I got from a uh, local big box home store. Now, this sort of worked okay, but I ran into a couple different problems. One of them is, here's this piece which I had cut out for a, for a box project, and I don't know if I'll be able to get this in, uh, and I'll try to zoom in on it. However, one of the things that maybe you can see here is this is not cut perfectly square, because what's ha what happens is when this sits on the bed as such, and I know it's probably hard for you to see this, um, what happens is the beam cuts across, it's actually reflected back from this this metal and what happens is it actually does sort of transpose this bumpiness to the bottom side of the uh, of the material um, and again I'm not sure you can see it here so this, this has been a bit problematic uh, for me. The other piece is with the material resting right on the bed like this, I don't know if it actually cuts through. I like to actually see the piece fall out when I go to cut it out. So for engraving this this really does work great where I'm not cutting all the way through and I'm just engraving something on the surface um, because it provides a very stable mounting surface. So uh, but this the problem with cutting is something I've wanted to deal with. Now what I've done is I've gotten a new laser printer and you've probably seen it um, so I've tried some other modifications on it so tell you what, let's go next door and take a look at it and then let's I'll show you the modifications I made and see what you guys think. Okay, welcome back. We're right next door to where we were before, about three feet away. So here's the new printer and you notice that this guy looks a little bit different because one of the things that I did is I, I cut out um, of some about 2.5 millimeter uh, acrylic these what look like dog tags and then because when I took the, the bed out of this one, what I had found is I had these, these stanchions. I don't know if you can see them in here, but they're very stanchions rather than the plates on the, the side, which I really like. The other thing in this case is that, that the whole gantry system sets up much higher than in the other one. So one of the things I would definitely suggest is if you're going to get one of these, get one with the analog meter. Uh, I find, well, number one, it's got the larger laser tube, and I find this uh, a better simpler design than, than the more complicated digital one I have. Uh, however, what I did do is I set these up so these bottom ones in here could be folded in. Now, I may have to take a screwdriver and loosen them. I just kind of tighten them up a little bit. Uh, but I keep these a little bit uh, loose so I can just kind of uh, move them around and they will want to tighten up as you move them. So see, I wanted to keep this sort of distance here so I can change the configuration of this round because before, if you would have noticed before that when I came and started the video, I actually have removed the clamping mechanism from the old unit and I can actually set this clamping mechanism down and it sits on these stanchions and it holds it in place so I can actually clamp. Now notice I can also reverse the clamp so I can have the clamp go in either direction to clamp my material so I can still use that because this is a good clamping mechanism and it holds it pretty firm and sits in there or else I can take this out in general and then I can take another piece of material for example like this and arrange this in a configuration where it sits on here and I can cut the piece out and uh, again so I can come up with different configurations and what's nice about this is the piece falls out and so I can clearly see because typically what I do in my workflows is um, I, I set it up so I have multiple runs and then if I don't need the other runs I just cancel them so it, all this stuff sits up and I don't waste material because nothing you know gets me worse than cutting out something halfway and then whoops it doesn't cut all the way out and you basically wasted this material because this stuff isn't cheap either so th this actually works out pretty good and this this piece I've actually cut out in a similar fashion because again, we can uh, also change this up in several different ways. Is you know, I can put it over here and then move this one, uh, which this one's a little bit tight right now. Um, move this one over here so I can go in a configuration like this. 
So I can go in all kinds of different configurations with this. Now, I, I don't know, and I may play with this in the future, is three inches good or is four inches better? Uh, or is, are the shape of these okay? Now, one of the things I did do is I went with a clear acrylic. Um, that way, if it's burned, if it, if, if I, it gets in the way of the laser, it's not going to overly discolor my other object. One of the things that I had found in the past, if I had used colored plastic, the uh, vapors from it would, would affect the color of the other object. So, again, this, this works out really good. So, the one thing I may do, though, in, in a future version is make the back ones maybe an inch or so longer because I kept these short as I as I showed so I could fold them in and they wouldn't hit each other um, but I'm thinking about doing another set where I make these about four to six inches um, because because they're you know this material doesn't provide you know it's not very heavy and I typically use a 10 by 12 sheet this is what I get is a larger sheet good and cut it down typically on the table saw or score it and snap it and so that's where I want to be able to fit that in here and so far this has really worked good I've really enjoyed uh, having this because again I can clearly see through the glass the uh, you know the protective screen up above uh, when it falls through and so it's worked out good so hopefully you found this interesting you know some bed talks I'd be interested to hear what uh, you're doing for your beds and what you guys think uh, so let me know in the comments below so hey please give it a thumbs up subscribe a lot of stuff coming don't forget to uh, swag shop in the corner I'll spit that out and we'll see you in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects